Welcome to Give Permission to Ask Questions on a Monday mid-afternoon. <laughs> I'm like, stop caring, man. Episode 99, season 3. So we are slowly making our way. And I decided today we're going to talk about the magic trick. So I am finishing. No, just kidding. I'm really stuck right now. <laughs> um, Love is a deeper understanding of self. I'm on chapter six and it's the second book in the series of love is um, and like what is love. So in order to get my chapter, the origin story um, written, I was looking back on um chapter 14 the magic trick of what is love so I've been pretty quiet about what is love I haven't really told anyone because it's kind of like a side hustle it's not really part of the legendary journey series it's his own little series in itself and like I don't know if I'm going to finish writing the second book this year so I really just need to sit and write um and enjoy the journey of writing right now so give yourself permission for your heart's desire um, and so what I like is hope deferred makes the heart sick and like understand what you love, understand your heart's desire. So I'm not stuck, but now I'm like, let's write this. Let's process this. Let's understand this. So the first book is like, what is love, right? And I wanted to read chapter 14, The Magic Trick. And it's not the last chapter. It's not the first chapter. It's in between chapters. But I knew I was going to write this chapter. And so give permission to ask questions is listen to a story. Be creative. Like write what you need to write. So I can't, <laughs> I can't move my phone around. So you're just going to have to see this beautiful face while I read to you. Chapter 14, The Magic Trick. Falling in love is a trip in the first place. I genuinely don't think we get to decide who we fall in love with. Doesn't that sound counterproductive? Define terms. Fall. Move forward, typically rapidly and freely without control, from a higher to a lower level. Only when we surrender can the magic of love be in our grasp. The magic trick is about the journey, that fall. That's why it makes it so scary. Trust and vulnerability are key elements to creating divine love. Christ has already given you love where you were bought with a price and you are not your own. So you must honor God with your body. First Corinthians 6 20. How do you honor God with your body? Perhaps that is the magic trick. I feel lonely. This loneliness eats at me. I can feel it in my skin. It feels like an emptiness is all around me. I know one extremely long hug will fix me. I feel broken. If I am whole, complete, an amazing creature, why do I feel broken? Why do I feel like I need to be fixed? It must be a process in life. Oops, hold on. Oh, no. You can feel lonely in a large group of people or by yourself. We were created to live in Eden. We chose the lie over Eden. The lie is we can taste the fruit and become wise. The first deception in life was we gain wisdom from understanding good and evil. The truth is we gain vulnerability and death. As soon as Adam and Eve ate the apple, they were naked and kicked out of Eden. We were separated in our from our abundance. We need God. We need the Holy Spirit daily. We need relationship with God, ourselves and other. I actually think our vulnerability is our superpower. God punished us as humans in the most lovingest way possible. Dependency on God is the gift of life. True love where we drink from the living water, where we do become complete creatures. Life has this ebb and flow of extreme highs and extreme lows. True love with God, the divine, is the mountaintop moment. But what is the descent down the hill? How are we supposed to love in the darkness, in our vulnerability, in the trusting others especially? There is potential for them to hurt us intensely. Loneliness seeps in. Our disconnect from God haunts us to this very day. It haunts us so bad with our discontent, we don't even know that we need connection to God. Divine term, haunt, manifest itself to a place regularly. 
How, what are we manifesting in our lives when it comes to love? Depression and the descent down the hill also follow us. Many of us have long-standing emotional problems. We've never discussed the fracturing of an abundant life where we can love like the divine. The journey is nigh. We reach the top and the descent is upon us. Why doesn't anyone talk about the strategies of the new creation plan once we have hit our mountain moments and are coming down from the high? The journey of brokenness and love is just as important as our first kiss and our childhood romances. Can we define... Can we be defined in honoring God with our fallen nature and with our sin? Beauty and love is all around us. We choose it. Who we choose to see it, grasp it, and embrace it. In order to reach the moon, scientists had to figure out a way to come back from it, actually find the solution in getting to the moon. We are in a constant state of vulnerability with God. We must stop fighting with our original nature before sin crept in. We must become pure and holy to love God with our soul, our heart, and our mind. The exciting thing is once we become new creations, God can give us the desires of our heart. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old is gone, the new has come. 1 Corinthians 5, 17. New birth was bought about with the will of God. Romans 12, 2. Is my hope for divine love. And not to be conformed to this world, but be transformed to the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Your mind can be completely transformed. You can overcome the fear, doubt, and misgivings of love. The magic trick is understanding our core essential selves. The most arduous journey you will ever have to go on is achieving all of your goals and dreams in life and becoming hollow. Why does Personal satisfaction hit us so hard a couple days later because we get to be in witness to create more magic. The extreme lows come, make the stream lows make the heart's desire that much sweeter. You need good and bad in our lives. We need mountain top moments and valleys. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalms 37 3. The magic trick is about being happy in the darkness of life. The magic trick is playing the conjunction with what is love. Create with what you love is a continued process of more than enough goals, dreams, and growth. The magic trick is loving God first, letting God speak to us, and listening to our will in our life. The magic trick is laying our burdens down and resting. Life is very broken. We can choose to be in healing energy or hurting energy. Healing pours out of me. I'm conditioned to be in healing. It's intentional. It gives space for people to have personal epiphanies in life. I thought this chapter was going to be the fall in love is the magic trick. Nope. I repeat, falling in love is not the magic trick. Alignment with God and your heart's desire is. Do you see magic in your life? Would you like to? Remember the first magic show you ever watched? Remember the first thought of confusions to a miracle? That's how the, how did they do that? Love makes no sense. Love is a continual magic trick. It has highs and lows, but the best, best magic trick is the heart's desire. What is your heart's desire? What magic would you like to create with love? Have a really good day. Enjoy the journey. Think about that. Um, give yourself permission to ask questions.